airport in Cairo receives another celebrated visitor to Egypt. Mr. Wendell Wilkie, as President Roosevelt's personal envoy, arrives by plane on a tour of the Middle East war areas. And there he is, the man who won his way into the hearts of British men and women during the ugly winter days and nights of early 41. His arrival brings Mr. Casey, our Minister of State, and Mr. Alexander Kirk, the American minister, onto the landing ground to welcome him to Cairo. It's the same Wendell Wilkie we knew, with the wayward hair and the ready smile. Yes, Mr. Wilkie wants to know, and as the representative of America's great president, he has afforded every facility to see for himself how the combined Allied forces out there are rolling up their sleeves for another round with Rommel. 